Now let's talk about optical power and some misunderstanding around this concept. So the optical power has two definitions. One is the total energy delivered and for that we have a power meter that you connect the fiber or any source of light and you can measure the optical power and the unit is based on what? And the other kind of optical power that in this course we're going to use it a lot is a geometrical concept and we use it for the optical power of a lens. Let's say when you have a curved surface, you can measure the optical power of the surface by measuring the radius of curvature and the refractive index of the lens. So the optical power for different lenses is different. Let's say we have a convex lens, different uh, lens with different radius of curvature. We have a concave lens and we have a flat windows. So for this lens, we have a huge optical power because it focuses very sharp, very close to the lens. So this lens is very powerful in terms of optical power because it can focus the light very close to the lens. But this lens, because the radius of curvature is higher, it focuses at further distance. So this lens has less optical power. This concave lens, biconcave lens, it has a negative optical power because it's diverging the lens. And this piece of glass as a window doesn't have any optical power. So we can say for the first lens, the optical power is high and it is positive. So that's the reason that sometimes people use positive lens for biconvex lens or convex lens. This lens is also positive, but, but it's strong, but not as, as strong as this lens. This lens, the optical power is negative because the focus point is somewhere here. And for this piece of glass, the optical power is zero. And the equation that we have for optical power is equal to one over F. And F is the focal lens. As I mentioned before, let's say you have a lens. When the focal lens is short, it means that it has a lot of power. So when the focal lens is short, means that this number is small, then the optical power goes higher. In the other form, sometimes people use capital F for optical power. So we should be very careful about using capital F and not make a mistake to mix capital F with small f. So capital F is equal to 1 over F and the unit for the optical power is one over meter. So we never use one over millimeter or something like that. And the symbol is diopter or DPT. That's the unit of the optical power. And this is the symbol that we're gonna use. So now let's review some lenses with different optical powers. Let's say this lens, the optical power is one diopter. So it means that the focal length is one meter because one over one meter is equal to one diopter. This lens, the optical power is two diopter. So it's very strong. The focus is pretty close to the lens. So one over half a meter is equal to two diopter. Very simple. Now this lens is not that strong. The optical power is half a diopter. So it means that the focal length is about two, two meter. So one over two meter is one half. This lens, the optical power is negative one. So the focus is on the left hand side of the lens and it's at one meter. So it's negative one. The negative one diop and the focal length is negative one. This lens, negative two diop is stronger, it's closer. So it's negative uh, one half of uh, meter, that's the distance, but the optical power is negative to the optic. So in summary, we should not mix these two concepts. Total energy delivered, we use optical power, the same term, but refers to the rate of the light energy transmitted or emitted, and the unit is what? So this kind of optical power, we use what? And the context, we're going to use it for applications, 
like lasers, fiber optics, illumination system. For example, we can say a 100 watt laser emits 100 joules of light of energy per second. Now, geometrical concept, the optical power and geometrical concept, describe the power or the degree of a lens or optical system can converge or diverge light. When it is positive, it's converging. When it is negative, it's diverging. And the unit measured in diopt, which one diopt is one over focal length, which is based on the focal length, should, the unit of the focal length should be meters. And the context of this kind of definition is relevant in lens design, vision correction, optical system, generally anything that is related to the geometry of the optical elements that we're going to use. So as an example, we can say when we have a lens with optical power of plus 2 diopter, it means that this lens can converge the light into a focal lens of 0.5 meter away.